Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Divine and Conquer by Leo Reed. Before we do the review, can you please like and subscribe? Check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course. If you'd like this, you would love that. Uh, hours and hours and hours of teaching. We do a live session every week and that's uploaded. So you get four hours minimum uh, per month and they usually overrun anyway, even if you don't go to the live session. So check out cardmagiccourse.com. Uh, I'm very, very proud of it. So uh, just a little thing, the reason why it's a little bit different is because I'm uh, in self-isolation at the moment. So I've, I've luckily before that, uh, I managed to get my cameras uh, grabbed from the office, but I've, I'm kind of on limited stuff. So if the lighting's a bit off and it's all a bit off, uh, apologies for that. But this is um, Divide and Conquer, Leo Reed, right? An another deck of cards that does a trick. <laughs> How many? It's, and when I, when I got it, I was like, part of me gets excited going, what's this going to do? And part of me goes, that, there's no, surely there's nothing else that we can, we can invent. And in a way that's true. But I was a little bit like, do I really want to learn another gaff card trick? A deck of cards does a thing. You know, I, I, I try to maintain enthusiasm. But uh, I opened this up. When I thought, is it just going to be another way for me to kind of say, this is your card? And that's really what happens, is it? You know, it, it, there are so many ways of doing it. And I think we've kind of done it all. So I opened this up and just went, here we go. And was very pleasantly surprised. I really like this. And there's a good reason I really like this because it's similar, and this isn't taking anything away from it, it's similar to tricks that I really like that use a similar idea. That's what I say. I'm not gonna tip the method, uh, but if you watch the trailer and you watch the presentation, you'll get a good idea if you know your stuff. The trick is this, you sp spread the cards and you can spread them on the table or you can spread them in your hands, you say to someone, just look at one, think of one, and you do this with two different people, very importantly. This is what differentiates it from the, the other trick that I really like, Mind Power Deck, which is what has similarities to this. Uh, well, a lot of similarities, and that's not a bad thing. It's a good trick, and it's just kind of a different way of doing that. Two people look at a card, you tell one of the people what their card is, and with the other one, you can either tell them what it is and pull it out of your pocket, or get them to say what it is and you pull it out of your pocket, but basically the difference is the second card is in the pocket or in an impossible location. You know, think of if you've ever seen Darren Brown do the trick smoke, similar thing, that's only one card. Someone looks at a card in a deck and he's actually got it lit. It's, really, it's amazing. Have a look on YouTube for that. So we're in that kind of ballpark. That's what we're doing. You know, we are standing on the shoulder of the giants here. This isn't a brand new way of doing a brand new thing. And as I said at the beginning of this, that, is pretty much impossible now, surely. There's not that much we can do with deck of cards that's different. And I think that's all right. I'd rather someone take an existing thing and go, right, it's a version of that, and we do something amazing with that, and change it a little bit, and then it gives you the choice of whether you like that presentation, if it's got two cards, or you want to do it with just one card, rather than going, I've got this brand new thing, and it kind of not being as good as all the stuff that's out there. It kind of makes it a little bit pointless. So the big thing about this is when I learned this, Again, I love this sort of trick where you're just literally, as it says, divining something. I really am getting into that. I've seen the, the responses of this sort of thing when it's really hands off it, and, and it's, it's super strong. It's got this bit at the end where they take the deck and they count down and they see there's only 51 cards in the deck and the, they see their card is missing and it's in your pocket. You can choose to do that again or not, but I think that's, again, a really strong thing. You've got to be careful when anybody's counting down 51 cards, it can take quite a long time. So I think you've got to cover that uh, with performance. And, um, and Nick LeCapo does the performance and the download on this very, very well. Nick is a really good presenter. And I think Craig Petty gave him presenter of the year or something like that. And he is a very good teacher, very good presenter. My heart dropped when I kind of looked at the fact that it was an hour and a half download. And oh, here we go again. But actually, I really enjoyed it. And he says on it, am I rambling? I know I'm rambling a lot, but I want to give you everything. And actually, he doesn't. And he gives you everything you need. You know, the method for this, I think, requires some time to get used to. And he gives you that time. Method-wise, there's no slights in this. So theoretically, you could say you could do this as a beginner, but there is rehearsal in it. And there is a little bit of memory work. And whenever you say memory work, people kind of go, oh, I don't know, I've got to remember loads of stuff. 
You haven't because when you actually do this, and I've got a shocking memory, it's really not hard. And you can crib it and you can find ways of doing this about the memory work, but I think that it, it like he says in it again and again, it's just not a problem. You, if you're going to do this regularly, um, it's not going to be a problem learning that. It's a pretty easy thing to do, I think. With a bit of presentation, it gives you room for presentation. That's why I love this stuff. You know, Once you know how to do it, you can really, really play with this. And it is a genuinely strong trick. And I was just about to say before, I, will, I would quite easily do this and I would quite easily put this in a show and that's a big thing. You know, when I've got a show coming up, I can imagine fit this fitting in a show. As I said about Axel Hecklau's um, trick that I just, uh, the, the mind visit trick that I just reviewed, happily look at that, put it straight in the show. Mind Power Dex, put it straight in the show, it's that strong. It's really lovely, this, and, um, and I think it's great. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more crediting. There is crediting on there, but I think, you know, this does go back to John Kennedy and before that, you know, Austin's got his system. And it, it, as he does say, it is, as, it is as old as the hills, this kind of method. So, of course, you know, even going back to Anaman uh, and before that, Corinda, you know, there are, there are, there's kind of, you can see this way through the history of mentalism. And it would have been nice to have a little bit more crediting. But, um, but I don't have a huge problem with it. Uh, this is from Penguin, and uh, I think it's very, very good. So, all the links will be below. Check it out. Um, angles, you, you can't really do it completely surrounded. Uh, it's a great pile of trick, but you're going to be able to do it in most close-up situations, I think. It's, you'll find a way a way of doing it, you know, because if you stand back and all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't, wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, but you, you have a look at the links below. Uh, read the info, do comment. There's going to be loads of stuff I missed out of this review because it's the situation is a bit weird and my head's a bit all over the place. So do the comments on comments section happening, uh, live shows happening on Thursdays. Most Thursdays at the moment because it's in and out of isolation. The odd one doesn't happen. So do check the little notifications thing so you get the notifications whether they're not happening when you subscribe, which you should. And, uh, and I'll answer any more questions there about this and other reviews that I do. So thank you very much. Have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.